or tips for melee volleyball. Now I've been playing this mod since release and I've noticed a pretty large skill gap between new players and ones who play more consistently. Where the ones who play more consistently have a much wider range of serves, returns, good use of mix-ups, and newer players sometimes struggle to just hit the ball. So I put together these four tips that'll help players getting into volleyball regardless of how bad or good you are in competitive melee. Number one, choose one character. This could be your main in regular melee, or someone you just enjoy playing even though they're not your best. People usually play their mains, and then try out the other characters to see how good they are in volleyball, and usually end up switching between a few. Although just like in competitive melee, sticking to one character will give you a lot of experience in unique situations, and you'll even be able to compete against characters that are in a higher tier than yours. The Melee Online and MX Discord servers are great places to find other people looking for volleyball practice and have specific channels where you can ask people to play. All the characters have unique fun interactions in volleyball that you wouldn't come across in a normal game of Melee, so try a few out and when you find one you really like, stick to them and you'll improve very quickly. Number 2. Know your moves. Oftentimes, players will lose a point because they didn't know how a move would interact with the ball. Knowing the strength and angle of your moves when hitting the volleyball will drastically improve your gameplay because you won't lose points unnecessarily. Players sometimes test their moves during a game which unfortunately can end up costing a few points. To go over your moves, you can go into 2 player mode with no opponent and change the rules to time with no limit and then go to the volleyball stage. If the ball doesn't spawn on your side, just restart till it does. Once you're in a game with the ball on your side, you can save the state by holding shift and pressing any key from F1 to F8. Now, if you hit the ball over, instead of restarting, you can just load the save state by pressing the same F key you used to save. This way, you can have 8 different save states. You'll want to be familiar with hitting the ball with each of your character's moves, and the Smash Wiki page has a list of all your character's moves and is a great resource when going through your moves. You'll be surprised to see what moves are useful in volleyball that aren't so practical in competitive melee. Number 3. Practice Serves Serving can look complicated and difficult to hit consistently, but with a little practice, you can earn many points off mixing up powerful serves alone. You can hit the ball up to four times before it has to go over the net. If you hit it five times, it explodes and you lose the point. And of course, if you don't send it over in four hits, it'll drop to the ground and you'll lose a point. Multi-hit moves, like Ness's Fair, only count as one hit. Here, Fox uses the same three moves to set up before using one of several moves to send the ball over. The more damage you do to the ball, the faster it'll go when it's hit, so building damage before sending the ball over is a common strategy when serving and forces your opponent to react quickly. Moves like Luigi's Up Smash require you to at least be in certain spots before it'll go over the net. So being familiar with these spacings will make serving consistent and you'll also know when to use these moves during rallies. And now that you know how all your moves work, you can pull off some pretty unique, powerful serves with whatever character you're playing. A simple strategy for consistent serves is to make the first hit a move with a simple hitbox that you can land easily. Here I start with a strong hit of Bowser's Sphere and use a mix-up to send it over. Here I start with a strong bear and follow up with a shine. You could even follow up with an up smash or even a shine up smash or maybe a double jump dare fast fall turn around up tilt into shine and countless others all of that just beginning with an easy to hit reliable beer being familiar with all your moves will let you be able to freestyle during serves and keep your opponent guessing which move you're going to use and how they need to react number four use the wall unlike conventional volleyball Melee Volleyball has walls that you can use to your advantage. Oftentimes, players will expect you to return the ball immediately, but hitting the ball against the wall is a great mix-up that can throw off their timings. You can also use it as a setup for stronger returns of your own. Using the wall for a few rallies and then mixing in immediate returns will force your opponent to react quickly and keep them on their toes. 
and some characters even have moves that can take advantage of your opponent's wall as well as your own. And there you have it, 4 tips for melee volleyball that will surely improve your gameplay with every set you play. No longer will you lose 6 points in one round for failing to serve. You'll quickly get accustomed to the ball speed and angles and know which moves would be the best in different scenarios to be able to rally into double digits consistently. So, hope you found these tips useful and I'll see you on the court.